Hello everyone and welcome to a new series of Minecraft plugins. I'm just making a new one because I had to change my IDE and Minecraft changed a lot, so make it work again. So first thing you're gonna have to do is uh, download IDEA, uh, which is IDEA uh, from IntelliJ. Uh, it's also, IDEA is also the Android Studio or Android Studio. Um, it allows you to download stuff and it's also free and open source. Um, so let's just download it because why the hell not? So let's just download and it started downloading. So the next thing you're going to have to do is go to Java, JDK and download the 8 because Minecraft uses 8 and why not? Um, so just accept, download for Windows 64 because that's what I use. Um, yeah. So now we just have to wait and see when this download finishes. So yeah, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so idea is almost complete and Oracle's servers are a bit slow, but I think it should do. Um, so first just, we have to install all of this. So just, it's basically straightforward, just press next, next. Next. Oh, by the way, you should also uh, associate Java, dot Java files, with your computer and idea. So then we just wait for this to finish. It usually takes a long, short time. It depends on your computer, actually. Um, but yeah. In the meantime, JDK will will finish downloading. Let's install JDK as well. Well, I already have it, but yeah, whatever. So let's just wait for this to finish. Okay, so it has downloaded. Just click run and finish. So do not import settings because you don't have another copy of it. Then you just have to scroll down, click accept, don't send you don't need stuff. Uh, I usually go with dark color because we developers usually go with dark themes, not light themes, and because I don't want to hurt all of your eyes. Also, you can just skip because there's nothing important. Uh, maybe some Vim settings, and but that's basically it. Um, so yeah, before we create a new project, uh, we should do something. So go under configure, go plugins, go in, type in Minecraft. It's not gonna find it, so just search in repositories. Minecraft development. Bring support for bucket sieves, pigot, paper, sponge, porch, MCP, mixins, bungee cord, waterfall, light loader, canary, and Neptune projects to IntelliJ. So just <laughs> install. So it has installed, now just restart. Okay, let's restart. So now if we go under create new project, we have additional tab, it says Minecraft. Um, so yeah, we don't have any SDK. We should just click new, go under C, program files, Java, JDK, and press OK. So now we have one. Then just click Spigot. So group ID should be your domain name. If you don't have one, just type xyz dot something dot something, I guess. I'm just gonna put in my, my domain. Uh, and artifact is actually the name of the plugin. Uh, it shouldn't contain any spaces, but uh, I'm just gonna put it like example plugin. Example plugin. Um, you can fill in description and other stuff, but I'm not gonna do that because it's only gonna be an example plugin. So project name, example plugin. Finish, wait for it to set up. Okay, so first you need to allow stuff. That's the usual. Um, so don't show tips, except if you want to. Then usually because it's Maven project, you should also enable auto import. Um, it helps in some cases, actually in most cases. But yeah, 
Now let's wait for three processes. Uh, so downloading Maven, downloading plugins, for example, plugin, because those are Maven and indexing, of course. But yeah, so that's actually basically it. Um, here you have domain name or group ID, and then you have your artifact name or your plugin name. And most of the stuff is already written. So that's great. Uh, that's helpful. Um, so yeah, that was basically a setup. Uh, I can show you also how other stuff works. So if you want to build your plugin, you can just go under lifecycle. Um, and you can see here what types of different stuff you have. So for example, I'm just going to go through a few of them because I don't know if you even care, but ones you're going to use most are clean, compile and package. So package is going to make you a jar file, which you can use in plugin folder. Compile is just going to test if it can compile and clean is going to remove all the files in the existing output folder. So then we should just go under add configuration, go click the plus button, go under Maven because we use Maven build system. Well, yeah, I was about to recreate that. So actually just name it build plugin. And so command line, you just put in clean package and that's basically it. So it just cleans the out of the folder and it exports once again. So we have build plugin. Um, so if we want to build it, let me just extend this. We're going to get another folder in here. So if I just build it, it's going to start compiling and build success. Now we have a target folder with all of the fi files and folders we actually kind of need, but they're just there. You don't actually need them to publish your plugin. And this is your plugin. So you can just copy this file. You can just do a right click, show in Explorer, click on it and you have it. Just copy this file into your server and you have it. So that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching the first episode. Uh, in the next episode, we might get into Git, but we'll see about that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for now. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.